Hello guys, welcome to another interesting section on computer class and for this class our topic is ICT as a transformational tool and my name is Faith Uso. The objective of this lesson is that students should be able to state what ICT stands for, students should be able to identify ICT get. students should be able to state the benefits of ICT and students should be able to list the advantages of ICT. So let's get started. So what is ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It can be defined as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate and to create, disseminate, store and manage information. So basically, ICT has to do with, um, in this um, perspective, ICT has to do with the tools that are required for communication, for storage and for management of information, okay? So if, uh, ICT is very relevant because many companies, many schools, many businesses, they need to have an ICT sector, okay? So it is very, it's a very, very relevant topic for us to discuss about. So now let's talk about ICT guard gates. An ICT guard gate involves the technology and the applications that are used in communication, basically. Okay, there are many guard gates which are used in communication technology. So ICT guard gates require or involves the use of um, devices or those devices that are used for communication. One of them is GSM, that's Global System for Mobile. And um, Global System for Mobile Communications and ICT guard gates and second generation digital technology. Of course, many of us have um gsm we have mobile phones used for communication used to create and to transfer co um, transfer information so it's a very very important um, ict gadget that we use that's relevant and that we use in our daily activities okay the second one we'll be considering is our fax machine it's a device that can send or receive picture and text over telephone line a fax machine consists of an optical scanner for digitizing image on paper a printer for printing incoming fax machine and a telephone for making the connection. It is used to receive um, data, both pictures and text, and you print it out. It's not so common in our time. You can see the picture of the fax machine here, the white machine on our screen. Then telephone is another IC gadget. It's an electronic telecommunication device used for transmitting and receiving sounds. The most basic function of the telephone is to allow communication between two points, okay? It's just like our phones but it's not mobile so that's um, fax machine and telephone so another ict guard here we're considering is our computer system i believe or we all have seen even if it's not in real life when a picture we've seen computers okay they need to create information to store information to transfer information so another one is a pager a pager is a small telecommunication device that receives and sends alert signals or short messages it is the size of a pocket calculator and has built-in miniature keyboard and lcd screen that can display several lines of text just like what we have here is a small device okay that is used to for alerts or for signals and to transfer short messages okay so these are the black uh, the black device we have that's a pager and it tells the communication system consisting of small typewriters connected to a telephonic network to send and receive signals or message so all these are examples of ict gadgets so the benefits of ict is that number one greater efficiency throughout the school um communication channels are increased through email of course channels of communication have been improved you can communicate with people through email through discussion groups even through edifice of the we're able to teach you guys okay so now another example is regular use of ict across different curriculum um, provide faster cheaper and wider access to information permission travels fast now with the use of ict it removes distances um barriers in communication of course we are not seeing each other but we can communicate as it is okay now it's speed of transmission and processing of information it aids learning by providing access to a wide range of information it makes business transaction easy remember from the beginning we spoke about businesses um involving or inculcating ict in their transactions okay so now it helps um businesses to be able to work you could be in nigeria and you could be having a business transaction with someone overseas so that's all these are benefits of ict Okay, so we're talking about disadvantages of ICT now. The first disadvantage is unemployment. Of course, even though ICT is relevant, it has also created unemployment because the use of machines have made 
the use of humans in some sectors irrelevant or they have reduced the use of humans for such a uh, tax take for instance in our banks no longer have so many banks tellers or bank cashiers because we can use atm to withdraw our machine our money okay so that's one disadvantage of ict another one is job security lack of job security privacy of course when our data are online anybody can have access to them so there's no privacy okay another disadvantage is of addiction some people are addicted to phones some people are addicted to the internet websites and the rest then pornography too that's another disadvantage cyber crime there's another disadvantage in plagiarism. So that's these are all disadvantages of ICT. So far, so good. We've spoken about um, ICT means information and communication technology. We've spoken about um, we define ICT as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate and to create, disseminate, store, and manage information. We're talking about an ICT gadget that involves technology. And the applications that you say that the gadgets are the technologies, the devices that are used for transferring communication or for transferring uh, information and for communication. We, and we give examples of ICT gadgets or GSM, telephone, fax machine, because there are so many, there are so many mirrors. Okay, so all these are what we've spoken about so far. So, our tech home exercise is um, number one, what is ICT? Number two, list and explain some ICT gadgets. Number three, mention the general benefits of ICT. Number four, state the disadvantages of ICT. So, um, you can submit your answers to this email, gmosmith.com.